God bless everybody watching me. This is the Gaffer, Prophet Pastor Java. And I come to you today to talk to you concerning this coming 2024. The people that surrounds you matters the most. You either go down or go up depending on who are you with. It's either the wife you married, it can be the boss you sit under, it could be your friends, it could be your family members. I want you to know this. So today I want to give you a secret of knowing the right people to be with in 2024. Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 6 and 7. It reads, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. With thanksgiving. I want you to understand the word with thanksgiving. It is only grateful people. People that are thankful that you only need to keep in 2024. Jesus multiplied the bread because he was thankful to God. Jesus resurrected Lazarus from the dead because he was thankful. He said, God, thank you because you heard me. Thank you because you hear me. And thank you because you shall always hear me. Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus is coming forth because Jesus knows how to give thanks unto the Lord. He knows how to give thanks unto the Lord. Uh, Luke chapter number 17. If you are to check, you are going to find out that there were 10 lepers that Jesus healed and told them go and give an offering. Only one person came to say thank you, Jesus. And Jesus says, were you not 10, but only you are coming here to thank me. He said, I am here. And he said, not only shall you be healed, but you shall be made whole because you are thankful. There are people in your life that are not thankful. Get rid of them or you're going to be crying one day. It is people that when you give them $5, they say you should have given me $100, you are rich. They are not thankful. Those people are dangerous. They will soon destroy your life. Do you know that you are never fought by people you never helped? You are only fought by people that you tried to help. You put them in your house and they want to be in control of your own house. The day you tell them, I have kept you for this long, leave my house, they come out to call you a witch. It is people you treated the best that came back the worst in your life. So I came here to just remind everybody that's watching me that in 2024, you need grateful people. Because people who are not thankful, they will soon come to devour you. Judas is one example. A woman comes to pour oil on the feet of Jesus. Judas is mad. We should have took this oil, sold it, and give it to the poor. He can't be grateful. That is why he's soon coming to betray Jesus. Because people that are not grateful, they are going to destroy you. Let me prophesy you. It could be family members, it could be friends, it could be old people you've been with for a long time. If they ain't grateful, get rid of them. That was the mistake of Abel, and I don't want you to be in that mistake. He thinks because Cain is his brother, he's going to be thankful and grateful for what God is doing in his life. But Cain killed Abel, not because Abel did something wrong to Cain, to Abel. Cain is killing Abel because God simply blessed Abel. And because God had blessed Abel, Cain is killing him because he said, it should have been me, it should have been me, it should have been me. There are people in your life that are not grateful. When you make money, they are mad. They are saying, it should have been me. It should have been me. When you get married, it should have been me. It should, when you became pregnant, when you give birth, it should have been me. They just me, 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 me. They are never thank God for what he did for you. God is saying, we need people that are grateful in 2024. And if you are not grateful in 2024, you are going to miss the mark. Because being grateful, number one, gives you peace. It gives you multiplication. It gives you favor. It, give, it makes you whole. 
It is someone that when you fly them and they go on their knees to say, thank you, thank you, like, please don't do that. Those people, they're going to be grateful. In short, I'll break and end in this way. You all know of a great man of God called Apostle Innocent Jav. That man, when I took him from the street, he had nowhere to sleep. And I put him in my house. And first days, he was sleeping on the couch. And he was being grateful, sleeping on the couch. He became my first garden boy. And he was thankful for being a garden boy, washing my car. Then he had a room with a one small bed, and he was thankful. He was grateful. I started making him edit videos for my TV channel. He was thankful. He was grateful. I made him a present worshiper in the church. He was thankful. He was grateful. Then he started setting up stuff for me when I'm going live to teach the people. And it was only one day when I couldn't make it there and I asked it, can you repeat one of my messages I taught years ago? He says, yes, I can do. And when I watched, he was more excellent. And I started putting him on the pulpit to preach. And he has been grateful. I said, making him hold the mic when I'm prophesying. He was being grateful. And right now, he's one of the great men of God alive on earth right now. Because he started from small, growing to be big, because he is a thankful man. You don't need anybody who is not thankful in your life. Hi, hi, why you give me $20 when you're a millionaire? Hi, hi, da, da. You should be grateful. It's not a privilege when somebody gives you a t-shirt, when somebody gives you a pair of shoes, when somebody gives you even one dollar. Be thankful, because if you're faithful and thankful with the little things, God will trust you with bigger things. May God bless you. And always remember this. You need people that are always thankful and your life will never be the same. God bless you.